Okay, so changing it up a little bit today. What we got out here is a Snapper SR1030. Pulled this thing out of my wife's stepfather's backyard. It's been sitting back there for years now. Hasn't run in over five years. I mean, it's got moss growing on it. Uh, anyways, what I'm gonna attempt to do right now is to see if the thing will even fire over. I put the battery pack on it already and it does spin freely. Um, so I'm gonna try doing is uh, spritzing some carb cleaner down into the carb or spritzing some brake cleaner down into the carburetor and see if it'll fire over. Okay, so fired over on its own. So we have compression, we have spark, uh, all good signs. What I'm gonna do really quick, I mean, this fuel tank's got some fuel in it, but it's old and probably bad. I'm gonna try draining it, throw a little bit of fresh gas in there. Uh, I got a new oil filter, or sorry, fuel filter for it. So I'm gonna try throwing that in there and let's see what happens. Okay, so we got fresh gas and a fresh fuel filter in there, so we're going to turn the battery back on and see if we can get this thing to crank over on its own. Okay, so I think what we're proving here is that it's not just the gas going to the carb. The carb's probably actually itself gunked up. So it means we're probably going to have to pull that and clean it. I mean, honestly, this whole thing needs to be cleaned anyways. And it's... 
like I was saying earlier, I mean, there's actually moss growing on this thing. Definitely got some uh, mold and mildew growing on it. So I think what we're going to do is call it quits on trying to get the engine to crank over. At least we know it spins and it will fire, which just tells me that the carb needs to be cleaned at this point or just, hell, even throw a new carb on it. Uh, need a new battery for it. Tires are shot. And the front steering linkage here needs to be fixed. Here, I can show you what's going on with that really quick. So the way the front steering works is there's this little pivot ball here in the steering linkage. And this bolt hooks into the control arm on the front of the lawnmower. Well, as you can see, it's snapped. And this ball here is actually kind of frozen in place. So I'm going to try to see if I can get this loosened up and then maybe try to weld this back on or figure something out. I don't know. We'll get there. Anyways, we'll follow along as uh, we get this process going. All right, so this is going to be my attempted fix for the steering linkage here for the lawnmower. I didn't shoot video of me welding this because, well, it's the first time I've welded it in 15 years. And as you can see, it's not pretty. So... Anyways, I'm going to try cleaning this up a little bit on the grinder over there and see if I can try to make this look at least somewhat presentable. But yeah, things, it's on there. Shouldn't go anywhere. All right. I don't have any uh, snapper red, so I'm just going to use this uh, black caliper spray paint. Should get the job done, prevent it from rusting. Good enough. All right, so I think that's gonna do it for this episode. We got a lot of cleaning up to do on this thing. Uh, and then throwing some new fresh parts at it. I still haven't gotten underneath to see what condition the blades or the belt are in, but uh, yeah, we'll get to work on that carburetor and then maybe get the pressure washer out and hose this thing down. Anyways, see you guys next time. All right, here's some additional power washing content. Okay, so she's not perfect. Not perfect by any means, but whole heck of a lot cleaner. All right guys, see you next time.